who is in the debate October 23rd? Who's who's left to participate? Uh, we've invited seven candidates. Three have confirmed the third, fourth, and fifth largest political parties. So we have Chase Oliver of the Libertarian Party, Dr. Jill Stein of the Green Party, and also Randall Terry of the Constitution Party, and I have great relations with the candidates and their national parties probably for decades now. Uh, we also invited independent Dr. Cornell West and Claudia de la Cruz of the Socialism and Liberation Party. Uh, Mr. Trump and Harris are, are more than welcome to be a part of our debate, and we'll have the extra podiums waiting for them should they dis decide to be there, that is October 23rd in Los Angeles. Uh, it will be broadcast live on Scripps News, C-SPAN, Rumble, KPFK, and more. And uh, we definitely, uh, internationally, I think a lot of media is starting to pick up. We're still a couple of weeks out almost from the debate. Uh, but we'll have those three candidates there and hopefully even more for already and our final as well, fourth presidential debate, October 23rd in Los Angeles. It'll be a private venue. It is a dream come true venue. Uh, there are supporters which, out which there. Which venue is it? It's, it's actually going to be a private venue for security reasons oh, okay. with a capacity of 200. But Lady Gaga was taping there with our executive producer a week ago for an entire week. So it is a 360 immersive venue. And the debate has now been expanded from two hours to two and a half hours now. Oh, wow. Um, and so right now you have confirmed Jill Stein, Dr. Jill Stein, Randall Terry, you said, and yes. who and Chase Oliver. So Correct. those are the, the three confirmed. What about Claudia? Is she is she planning on showing up? I, I've had a difficult time even getting a hold of her to be on my show. I, I mean, the, the, I don't understand candidates that don't want to campaign. Cornell West, like, where did that guy go? <laughs> you know, he did a couple of interviews or a couple in the very beginning, and then he disappeared. Claudia De La Cruz, again, it's like, why don't you want to appear on the show and actually be interviewed? Um, why wouldn't you want to show up at a debate and and actually participate? I mean, I, I don't understand this. Well, I'm 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 running for president, but but I'm gonna just not talk to people or disappear. I don't know. So anyway, is she gonna be there? What's her deal? Everyone has their different reasons. Uh, talking to Santita Jackson, Reverend Jesse Jackson's daughter, she's going to be opening up the debate, singing the national anthem, October 23rd. Uh, she's reached out to Dr. Cornell West. I've uh, been reaching out to Claudia, and uh, maybe it's the difference between running an actual campaign and not. Uh, sometimes there are campaigns that just have a lot more support than others, and. Uh, thank, thank you. I'm so glad no matter that Claudia and Dr. Cornell West are running, and I hope that they'll be there October 23rd. But I have experienced the same difficulties, so don't take it personally. <laughs> no, I, I think they should take it personally, quite frankly. You know, they're the ones who are alienating voters or not wanting to speak to them or making decisions on which shows they'll appear on or which ones they won't based on the viewership. I mean, that's just not the way to campaign. The way to campaign is to try to get everybody no matter their political stance, because what we've seen in this country right now is people are swayable. I mean, you can change the minds of people. We've got a lot of people this election cycle suddenly voting for Donald Trump, who had voted Democrat the previous, like their entire lives and vice, vice versa, right? We've seen like Dick Cheney come out, <laughs> lifelong Republican now saying he's going with Kamala Harris. So, I mean, people can change. So candidates should be reaching out to everybody. I particularly, well, Claudia De La Cruz. If I, if is, I, if I may yeah. ask your supporters who are listening today, please kindly message Claudia and Cornell to be at this debate because I have messaged them directly via text. I've spoken to them. I have their cells. And I've said I really do uh, believe that not being at this debate is going to be the biggest regret of your entire campaign. To have C SPAN and Rumble and Scripps News and more, uh, KPFK. Yeah. They'll actually be in studio, ready to interview, uh, and their Scripps News will be interviewing all the candidates. And I think we're going to have even more. I mean, we have a, a, a renowned PR firm and PR people reaching out to CNN and big media uh, next week. So uh, hopefully they'll still be there and your viewers can kindly reach out to them and say, man, we really want to hear your voices. We want to hear more voices and choices. And I, I would love to have them there. I never give up. So we'll have a podium for them. Uh, hopefully they'll be there.